Welcome to MicroWorld's EX Logo Lesson 2, 2A that is. We're going to look at just a, some of basics here before we start actually getting into the heart of logo programming. We're going to review a little bit. CG stands for clear graphics. By the way, if you type in CC, it will clear the commands. I don't have a lot of commands up there, but say you have a lot of commands up here like 4 to 100, left turn 90, forward 300, right turn 70, etc. You type in CC, it'll uh, clear all those. CG will actually uh, do the graphics and get you back to the center of the circle. Now, there's a few things about math that you need to understand. Let's say you go forward 100. Well, you know that is what that does. Put the pen down. Let's say you go forward negative 100. Ah! Forward negative 100 actually goes backwards. Kind of like positives and negatives in math. Let's say you go backward negative 100. Guess what it's going to do? It's going to go forward. It's kind of like two negatives make a positive. There's some relationship there. What happens if you take a right 90? Well, you know what that is. What happens if you take a right negative 90? Well, that actually is a left turn. You need to be able to wear, be aware of that. Now, you probably hardly ever use that, but, but it can do it, okay? CG it. I'm going to get rid of that. Now, I'm going to CC it. Now, we're going to have to do some commands here with a square. Right turn 90, 4 to 100. Right turn 90, 4 to 100. Sorry about that. And right turn 90, 4 to 100. Those are easy because the angle on the inside is the same as the angle on the outside. Squares are easy. Interior angle is the same as outside. Let me see. See it? Whoop. Okay. How do you make a triangle? Well, first I want to do right turn 90. Then I'm going to go forward 100. Now the question is, what is the angle? What do most kids say? Most kids say 45. Well, if you go forward 100, you can see that's not going to make a triangle. Okay. Let's see. Uh, CG it. Right turn 90, forward 100. Let's say you do 100. Go forward 100. Uh, left turn 100, forward 100, uh, no, no, that doesn't work either. Well, it's called the rule of 360. Forward 100 is fine. If I want to make a triangle, I have to take 360 divided by 3, triangle, 3 sides, 3 turns, because it's always 360 around. 360 divided by 3 is 120. And if you go perfectly, 120 and forward 100, you're going to make a triangle, an equilateral triangle. We won't do probably too many scalene or isosceles triangles, but they might pop up uh, later on. We'll see. So let's CG it and start over. Let's make a, a pentagon. Four to hundred. You see, the nice part about logo is it doesn't matter how far you go. It's just a matter about the turns. A farther distance when you're going with a turtle, like forward two hundred, just makes it bigger. It's not the. It's a not a different shape though. Well, let's say you don't know uh, the rule of 360, or what 360 divided by 5 is. You can use, it's called the rule of 360. Take 360 divided by 5. That means you've got to put a space between the 360 and the slash, which is a division sign, and then a, sub, a space between the 5. And if you do that, and by the way, I can just do that with my keys, going up, hitting enter, going up, hitting enter, I don't have to type them in again, saves you some time, and you are back at the same spot, pointing the same direction. Okay? That's a pentagon, and it's pointed up. How about a hexagon? Well, it's still 4 to 100, but it's not 360 divided by 5. It's 360 divided by 6, which, by the way, is 60. Go up, forward, enter, forward, enter, Forward, enter, forward, enter, forward, enter. Got a hexagon. You can do all of those. It doesn't matter what shape, but they do have one thing in common. They have to have a turn of 360. 360 divided by 8, we're going to skip 7, is, um, let's see, 360 divided by 8 is 45. Go up, 
enter, enter, up, enter, 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 completely gets an octagon or whatever shape you want. Rule of 360 and that's it for today.